Hi everyone, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I am using the new Carrot Bauchu Stamps and Dies, Easter Party Stamps and Dies, the uh, Fancy Wavy Banners and Grassy Border Dies, the Reveal Wheel Square Add-on, the Reveal Wheel Die, and the new Rainbow Ever After 6x6 Paper Pad. I'm just starting how I usually do by spritzing some water on my craft mat to color my images and I am going to be using um, mustard, orange, and bright yellow for my carrot mobiles, <laughs> my carrot carts, uh, carrot cars I don't know <laughs> and I'm um, using the brown in the shaded areas and then a little bit of the darkest orange over that same brown um, and then the lightest marker um, pulling it out with the water brush to color in the in the areas that don't have um, that weren't colored by markers <laughs> that took a while for me to say so sorry I am coloring all the tires the same. I'm using black. I want to say platinum gray. I'm going to show you in a minute. I forgot, but I go back and show you. <laughs> um, yeah, here it is. Black, plat platinum brown, and warm gray too is what I use for the wheels. Um, for the little carrot poofs, I am using light blue, pale green, and turquoise green. And I'm just using the darkest color at the edges, the middle color to pull it out, and then the very lightest color to um, blend it all together. It gives it the perfect little mint, and I'm also going to use that same color combo for the grass for these little bunnies. I am next going to use uh, natural beige, mustard, and mid-brown to color the wagon. Uh, the wagon is going to be filled with these little bunnies in the field that we colored the, the grass. And um, next I'm going to color the bunny. Um, that was very quick, but it's the, the face, I mean, it's just mustard and beige. And I'm going to add cheeks with blush and light carmine. And that is the same color I use for all of the ears in the bunnies as well as the noses if they have them and um, the cheeks for the other bunnies as well. And I'm just using the same mustard color for the base of that bunny, the same mid-brown that I use for the wagon as well. Then I'm using more mustard and then my damp brush to pull it out. I am now going to use... Um, the warm gray 2 color again for the little tails on these bunnies and then I'm going to use a fog color to color in this bunny because I wanted it to be white mostly um, so I'm just adding a little bit of gray in the shaded areas and I decided to color these three bunnies a combination of all of them so one is going to be gray one is going to be brown and one is going to be gray and brown and um, I don't use very many markers, as you can tell, to color these images. It's mostly the same colors, just in different combinations. And that's it. The card's color. The images are colored. Next, we're going to start making the actual interactive part. I die cut that big scallop circle from white cardstock. Also, that small circle from white cardstock. And I use the Reveal Wheel Square add-on with the little arc that comes in the reveal wheel die set to die cut the front of the card and you can see I've already done that and next I'm just going to use it I'm going to put the same arc die I'm just lining it up through that hole to extend the arc a little bit because I'm going to have the reveal wheel move the carrot car not uh, sentiment. So I'm just extending it a little bit, taping it on, and I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. And just like magic, <laughs> I have extended it. And now we have a little bit of a roadway for our little guy to drive on. And now I'm going to move on to the sentiment. I use the fancy wavy banners to die cut some guava cardstock. And I'm using the I care it about you um, sentiments and I just line them up on my clear block in the wave and I'm going to heat emboss them in white 
and I love how bold that is. And I'm just going to use my bone folder to um, press the edges to give it a nice crisp, clean fold. And we're going to put the card together now. Uh, first you take the small white circle that we die cut from white cardstock and a small brad, push it through the large scallop circle. And I'm using my bone folder to uh, fold over the edges of the brad. And next I'm just adding foam tape around the small circle. I'm letting it not touch the brad, not touch, not go over the edge. I am to putting two layers of foam tape because I found when I use two layers of foam tape it spins better but that just could be because my phone tape is thinner I don't know so you know you play with what works best for you but I'm just going to um, line up my reveal wheel and the reveal wheel uh, square add-on onto my card base and that attaches the wheel but um, oopsie <laughs> I forgot uh, where I am supposed to put foam tape on the back of it. So I'm just using one of these reveal wheel templates that um, are like the easiest thing to use when you're actually stamping a sentiment. And I'm just using it as a guide on where not to put foam tape um, so that I can now put the foam tape on my reveal wheel card front. And I'm also going to double up this layer of foam as well because um, it wouldn't work very well if the middle layer was doubled up and the outside layer wasn't. Definitely would not make an easy, an easy transition. So just doubling it all up. And next I'm going to attach that to the card front too. Of course, you know me, I use all the glue all the time. So tape and glue, <laughs> that's, that's my rule. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to line it back up. Excuse my hair and perfect placement <laughs> it is perfect see and it's perfect okay so next I'm going to put my um cart on and I'm just going to use one piece of foam tape on the actual reveal wheel there that way it will stop when it hits both edges because I didn't want it to go all the way around of course so it's just going to stop and it's look back and forth back and forth it's so cute <laughs> Perfect. Um, this is where I wasn't sure where I wanted the other images to go. I uh, am popping them up because I knew I wanted them to have some kind of dimension since everything was popped up twice. And so I'm just adding the foam tape and then I'm going to play around a little bit on where I want these to go. But I do end up putting them there at the bottom and that basically is what the card looks like at the end. But first I thought, wouldn't it be nice to add some vellum grass to the bottom just a little bit of dimension subtle little I love vellum with pastel and this rainbow pastel paper pack is just the most adorable I love the colors and I thought that the vellum would be like the perfect little accent for a little bit of grass and um, next I'm going to attach these guys I thought oh maybe we'll do it like that I almost did that uh, let me know down below do you like the the other cag carrot with the wagon on the bottom or the top I, I couldn't decide it's too late now <laughs> but tell me what you prefer for next time and I'm just going to take off all these little itty bitty pieces of release paper from my foam tape more glue sorry not sorry <laughs> and I'm going to attach them to my card right at the bottom I love that you can make it look like he's pulling the wagon <laughs> and then I'm going to attach my banner just a little bit of glue on the edges and that is the card it's so cute and it was so easy to do I mean literally it did not take long at all obviously I sped this card up but it was so fun so fast what a fun card to receive in the mail and look this little guy he's having a blast <laughs> back and forth I love it be sure to check this out on the Lawn Fawn blog, and if you make something with the reveal wheel die, let us know. Bye!